Welcome to another episode of Paddleboard Places, uh, where we show you places to go, where to paddle or kayak, and where to park, where to launch, how much it costs, and what you should expect to see. We're super excited today. We are um, just outside of Miami. Virginia Key, Virginia Key Beach Park. Hopefully we're gonna see the view of the city in a few minutes. And we're on a tour with Paddle, P-A-D-L. They've got locations around the, the south end of Florida, and uh, you should take them on a tour. They'll take good care of you. Hey, so come along with us. It's going to be a great day. From Miami, take Highway 913 South. Then you're going to turn on a street called Arthur Lamb Jr. or Sewage Plant Road. We learned the hard way that there are two streets called Arthur Lamb Jr. So be sure to take the first one. All right. Sorry for the great quality video, but that's the best angle. There is Miami. called Paddle, P-A-D-L, for our tour today. And we're going to hit a view of Miami, the skyline of Miami. The Paddle guys are taking us on a tour. I highly recommend them. And uh, you will enjoy the experience tremendously. They also rent bikes. If you're into biking here, you can do either one. And uh, it's a great place to go. Paddle rental boards, okay? They're all over it in South Florida. Look them up. On, are all the locations online? All the locations are online at padl.co. Okay, here you go, guys. Pick it up and go. Okay, we're off on our tour with our paddle master. Here we go. It's pretty shallow right here. Um, probably only a couple of feet and you see down the bottom. Probably even better on a day when it's not so windy. We're on our knees because we're getting blown all over. And, uh, but Parker's been a great tour guide so far. We're headed to the, to the skyline of Miami. In the midst of our crazy, windy paddleboard ride, you got a cruise ship coming out, leaving the Miami port and on its way to some fun. Okay, we're out here with a little bit of choppy weather. It's uh, 15 to 18 miles an hour, which is about five to eight miles over our limit. But we're doing it anyway. We're in Miami for only a certain amount of time. And Allison is happy, positive, as is our guide from Paddle. Rock on. Okay, we're out. It's just beautiful. Look at all these big yachts. It's fun to come around the corner and there you see downtown Miami. Isn't that beautiful? Right there. You can go paddle all the way to the building. Okay, here we are. There's Miami. We made it through the wind. That is Fisher Island said it is the most expensive real estate in the country. How much is a condo there? 10 million just for a condo. And they don't use cash or credit card on the island. You just pay with your HOA card. How crazy is that? And there's the Port of Miami. And there's the city. We made it. We're in a bit of a rush because the park closes soon. So we kind of raced out here, not our normal leisurely paddle, but hopefully we'll have the wind at our back going back. Once we got out of that channel, it really, the wind really calmed down, which is great. So we're just enjoying the sights and a little close up and a wide open Atlantic Ocean. Okay, you want to be careful when you get out here there's jellyfish and they have a sting on them you do not want to get them that's one right there there's another one right here don't pick them up don't don't even touch them don't bug them that one's got all sorts of stuff on it but they are all over there's another one just be careful it's right here on the shore of this cute little beach in the springtime you see them hanging on the mangroves dropping the water 
float horizontal, and when they turn vertical, they normally go to shore and they just plant. They plant themselves. They plant themselves. So they self-reproduce. Uh, the city does a lot of planting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, in fact, in the 70s, there were fish kills every year, and it was so bad that you couldn't eat the fish in Spain. Oh, really? It was terrible. There were no mangroves anywhere. Wow. Um, between like the, the time when Ponce de Leon first came here and all of Miami was just the Everglades, uh -huh. and then they completely eradicated the mangroves. Oh, wow. So they came back and they said, keep the manatees again. So they're planting the mangroves, so you want to be careful along the shorelines to not step on them because that is going to save the fish and the islands. It's such a cool place to paddle when you get to see this skyline of Miami and the boats that are in, cruise ships, all sorts of different kind of boats. We use Paddle PADL for our tour guide. Made it really easy to find where the best places were to go and uh, very knowledgeable about it. This is a pretty ride. Be sure to watch your wind app. Make sure it's not going to be too windy. We had a bit of wind today, but it was worth it. Okay, we're coming back in the waterway down to the park. There's some fun beaches. You could stop, enjoy yourselves. Our guide Parker's taking us to a secret beach over here. So come check it out. We'll show you what you're gonna see. So from that parking area where you park your board, just a little short walk out to the beach, barbecue beach. Yeah, but a great view. Look at that view out there. You get to see some ships out there as well as part of the skyline. The beach, the sand here at Barbecue Beach, very soft, and uh, it's a great experience because it's kind of secluded. You can only get here with a water vessel or if you're a really good swimmer. But picnic tables out here, that's a great spot. You ready to go? You're all anxious. <laughs> They're gonna kick us out. So this is the channel that we came down, and it was so windy when we started here and now it is calm as can be and we're having a much more enjoyable experience there's a gray heron he's got a fish in his mouth don't know if you'll see it but he just got it and got out of the water okay we're heading back in we're gonna get in trouble by the park. Time to get out. We got in trouble for being a little late. We're past the deadline. The Virginia Key Beach Park was really cool. And it's kind of three rides in one. You get out and it's in that channel. You turn the corner and you're by some beach area. And then you turn the corner again and you see the skyline of Miami. So great location, awesome, easy to launch. It was only eight bucks to get into the park. We did hire paddle both for the rental and the tour, which I would suggest doing. We learned a lot and that was great. It ended up with a final rating of a 9.8 out of 10. All right, that was Virginia Key Beach Park, south of Miami, a great ride. So awesome. Yeah, it was really fun. The skyline was great. Just come out here for that alone. They do some night tours as well with lighted up paddle boards and you get to see the skyline in, in all its lights and glory. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And be sure to check out Paddle. P-A-D-L. And take a tour. They do guided tours or you can rent it. You just rent and go. So it's either awesome. way, they got about 50 locations across Florida and growing into other places. So if you see one, go rent one. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, and until next time, everyone, keep on paddling.